I'm joined by NFL Network Steve Mariucci and Mooch. Welcome. The Chargers are now in LA. What'd you, you think? called me Mooch, didn't you? Thank you. Are we that close already? <laughs> this is great to be here, isn't it? It is pretty cool. What'd you think? It, it, well, it's a great atmosphere. I used to live in Orange County, all right? And, and so um, I'm from, I used to recruit the heck out of Orange County when I was coaching in college. So I love being back down here. And there's some excitement going on. We got the fair going on. We got a lot of people here. Um, it, it, it's a change, you know? It's a change for the Chargers. We've been down there for so long. And it's kind of like, welcome back. And, and here we go. I think they're going to have a pretty good team. Let's talk about that team a little bit. Who impressed you out here today? Philip Rivers. He's really, you know what? This organization is so lucky to have a guy like that. My God. I mean, he's uh, he's the real deal. And I love I love his leadership. I love his energy. I love what he's all about. He's one of those guys that you, if you, you're, you're really sure when you put him out there as the face and the voice of your organization that he's going to say the right things and he's going to do the right things and he's a heck of a dad and husband and charger and all of it. He's the full package. Now he's leading the team on this field but the guy at the helm is Anthony Lynn. Yeah. You have been a first year head coach before. You know the challenges that that job presents but is he up for that challenge? Yeah he is. He's you know he played in the league, not that that gets you ready to coach in the league necessarily, but he was one of those guys that was a former player that took all the necessary steps to learn the, the, the art of coaching, the profession. And he had a lot of stops with a lot of different head coaches in a lot of different organizations, so he's, he has seen it, you know, and he knows what makes a, an organization good and he knows what can slow one down, and so he's ready to do this. He's got a certain command and presence, um, and it's and it's all about too how you surround yourself with assistant coaches and players. <laughs> That's the key, right? So I know this team is trying to build itself up to being a contender in a tough in a tough division, uh, but I like his coaching staff. You know, Kent Wisenhunt and Gus Bradley are the real deal too, and they, they they've been there, done that. Uh, they'll they'll really be helpful to Anthony Lynn. And then finally, that tough division, the AFC West, probably one of the most competitive in the NFL. How do you see this team fitting in? Well, take a look at these. If you're a quarterback in the league, in this league, in this division, look at all the pass rushers that are in this division. You got a couple right here with Joey Bosa, right, and Melvin Ingram, but you got some on every team. From Khalil Mack to Von Miller to D4 to J, they just keep coming. Justin Houston, and so um, it's it's a fun division. The Raiders are going to be good. You know, Andy Reid's team's going to be good over there in Kansas City, and so and and the Chargers are going to be better. Their 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 record lately really isn't indicative of what this team's all about. Too many close losses, too many injuries. It's a new start. Everybody's zero and zero, right? That's it. We're only a couple weeks away now. Thank I you know, so much. Let's go. You bet. Thank you.